think there's probably some slight difference. I think white people should know by now you don't say it in any context. Uh, it's it's something that's Period. some that yeah, that's unacceptable. I also frankly don't agree with his rule about what words the players can say. I find it uncomfortable that any white man believes that he can police what words black people can use amongst each other, especially a word like that. It's a word that I use on occasion and that I, that is in the music that I listen to and I'll be damned if I let Dabo Sweeney tell me I can't say it. That aside, <laughs> I um I don't necessarily I don't have the the optimism that that you have Max in knowing that or feeling confident that it wasn't used in malice like I, I'll accept Dabo as not a liar because it seems like the story and, and that Pyramid's not a liar the story um, is corroborated by the player who was there so that's fine but you talked about Dabo's faith and Dabo's an interesting character because Dabo's built such an amazing program and Dabo really came from the bottom. Like, he got it out the mud for real. So I think that he believes there's a possibility that he believes that he worked for everything he got, and that's the only reason why he got to where he is, because of his hard work and the idea of privilege. It's a conversation I had with Bomani Jones not too long ago. The idea of privilege may be difficult for somebody like Dabo to, to grasp, but the idea that you can wear a Football Matters T-shirt and not understand that that could be offensive to somebody, I think it's just an example of your privilege. Like, this is all all kind of an example of your privilege. Having faith, like I, the idea of faith, having faith that things are going to work out, being positive all the time, like to me that also, that's a great characteristic and sometimes I'm positive and I like to have faith, but that also feels like a, a level of privilege just to feel like, oh yeah, don't worry about it. All these other facts and, and, um, and obstacles, they're not a thing because I believe. Like that's something that that I, I can't speak for all black people, but I have a hard time grasping. And I do think that Dabo's statement, it was fine, it was long. He talked about how he, he did not discourage his players from participating in a, in a, in a sit-in, which maybe some players might disagree with. He talked about how much action they're taking. And that's what I found interesting, because what we've all been saying is, your comments are good, your tweets are fine, your statements are fine, but what are you doing? The things that he said he was doing was holding team meetings, like in, in player meetings, in uh, position group meetings. Like, that to me doesn't feel like action. And if Dabo needs some help finding some action, I think that maybe he should stand up in a press conference and, and let people ask him questions about this, not just release a statement. If he's looking for other action to take, he can sign the peti petition that two of his best play or two of Clemson's best players, Deshaun Watson and DeAndre Hopkins, sign that that requires that request that Clemson take the name John Calhoun off their honors college because he owned slaves. A former vice president, he owned slaves. Not only did he own slaves, he fought for slaves. And he said that he thought slavery was a net positive or was, was a good proposition, a I think was the word. Yeah, a yeah. good, a positive good. Like, that is something, mm -hmm. if you want action, Dabo, you are Just Clemson in case you were unclear right where, he, yeah. where he stood on it, a positive good. Yeah, a positive yes. good. Like, that's unacceptable. So if you are looking for action, and I'm fine, I'm not going to try to dive into somebody's heart or figure out whether they are truthful or, or honest about this or how they really feel, and I accept the idea that you can't judge somebody by their worst moment. So maybe that was Perriman's worst moment, and maybe Dabo's, um, the time that he spent not answering was his worst moment. I'm not going to judge you on that, and I'm not going to judge you on your best moment either, which you may think is your apology. I'm going to judge you on the body of work that you are doing to affect some change. And at Clemson, the, a university that was built on slave grounds and is named their honors college and many other things after slave owners and many of the students, including two of Clemson's very best players, do not talk about Clemson in ways of reverence because of this. Stand up. Be with your players. Be with your former players. Be with the right side here. So if you want some action, Dabo, I can tell you the action that you can take. Why don't you have faith that they're going to take the name of John Calhoun off of uh, off of the honors college. Who cares that he donated land? Who cares any of that? That would be something that you could do. So your apology is cool. Uh, all right, it's fine. You're probably a good dude. Uh, I, whatever. Same to you and Perriman, mm -hmm. but we need some action out of you. Don't use the word anymore. Don't tell 18-year-old black men or older that they can't use it. Like, shut up. That's not your place. And actually take some action to address issues that, that are impacting people and impacting your university. You don't have to go far. We're not asking you to fix all of racism, but make this one little fix. Sign this position, petition and openly campaign to change the name of the Honors College at Clemson University. 
Well said. You're so right, Dominique. And to piggyback on that, DeAndre Hopkins said it bothered him the whole time he was at the university, but now he felt comfortable speaking out. And he also said that's why before NFL uh, games, he doesn't have them reference his college, because he's not comfortable mentioning Clemson due to that fact that you just discussed.